Hello students. In paper 4103 of Molecular Biology and Genetic Engineering, we are going in detail for the methods of gene transfer. There are major two methods of gene transfer. One is direct method of gene transfer and another is indirect method of gene transfer. In direct method, we are using physical as well as the chemical method and indirect method, there is use of agrobacterium for transfer of gene. Direct or vectorless gene transfer method are divided into the physical as well as the chemical method. In physical method, there is use of uh, electroporation or electric current sonoporation where ultrasound is used in biolistic vacuum is created and the dna particles are coated with the gold or tungsten micro injection there is use of uh, micro pipette and in retrovirus infection use of uh, retroviruses in chemical method, polyethylene glycol, calcium phosphate and liposomes that are the lipid containing vesicles are used for transfer of a gene. Whereas indirect gene transfer or vector mediated, there is use of agrobacterium and they contain TI as well as the RI plasmid. This agrobacterium tumefaciens, it is with a specific TI plasmid having tdna and agrobacterium rhizogenes it is with uh, ri plasmid we'll go in detail for the chemical mediated gene transfer first is a polyethylene glycol here the direct dna uptake by the protoplast which is stimulated by using this polyethylene glycol so krenz and his colleagues in 1982 uh, has firstly gone through this technique and the credit goes to them for this technique and here this technique has proven uh, effective for the transformation so concentration of 15 to 25 percent that precipitates ionic mic macromolecules like dna and obviously they stimulate the uptake of dna through endocytosis here this figure gives you the idea about endocytosis that how this is uh, engulfed or that enters into the cell through the endocytosis after entry of this uh, vesicles of or the complex of this polyethylene as well as the dna aggregate it is followed by the cell wall formation and initiation of a cell division we can observe by plating them on low density selection medium. Plants like petunia, nicotiana, rice and maize are obtained through this PEG mediated gene transfer. Transfection by calcium phosphate precipitation is another chemical method for gene transfer. Here the precipitate of calcium phosphate are as well as the DNA and this can be easily adsorbed on the surface of the cell so you can observe in this figure how this complex of the dna as well as the calcium phosphate is adsorbed on the uh, cell membrane and here again the phagocytosis that is that cell engulfs these complexes and enters the dna into the cytoplasm and finally to the nucleus so recombinant viral vectors are obtained through this calcium phosphate uh, precipitation liposome mediated gene transfer is by use of uh, artificial phospholipid vesicles so use of uh, vesicles of size 0.1 to 10 micrometer or 20 to 25 nanometer so these lipid uh, vesicles or liposomes are loaded with the dna by membrane membrane fusion and here also the endocytosis and that forms the complex of this liposome and the dna 
by fusion they goes with the protoplast and release the content into the cell and animal cell plant cell bacteria is protoplast are easily lipofection method transfer plants depending upon the charge the liposomes are either cationic having positively charged and the anionic or we can say ph sensitive because they destabilizes at low temperature but these liposomes are physiologically safe components another method of physical vectorless gene transfer is electroporation where use of a electric current is applied so 10000 to 1 lakh voltage per centimeter for few microsecond or millisecond but this voltage varies with the cell size but this may damage the cell due to the electroporation they disturb the phospholipid bilayer of a membrane and forms aqueous pores and after the electric potential across the cell membrane which is increased by about 0.5 to 1 volt the charged molecule of uh, dna they migrate across the membrane through the pores in a similar manner like a uh, electrophoresis and after entry the reassembling of a phospholipid bilayer takes place another method is a micro injection so barber in 19th century firstly invented this method to identify the characteristics of a dominant gene here the powerful microscope uh, of again it is with glass micro pipette uh, this is of 0.5 mm diameter and this micro pipette that contains the foreign dna it is used to transfer the foreign dna into the nucleus of the cell the here this holding pipette is placed in the field of view of microscope and that sucks as well as hold the target cell at the tip the micro pipette tip is injected through the membrane of the cell uh, through the and this achieves the delivery of the content of the needle into the cytoplasm afterwards this needle is taken out one benefit of this method that we can easily identify the transformed cell upon injection of a dye along with dna so this foreign dna in the micro pipette it is many of the times loaded with the dna in biologic method of a gene transfer this is also called as a particle gun micro projectile bombardment or a particle acceleration sanford and uh, his colleagues in 1917 firstly invented this method here high velocity micro projectile are used to deliver the substances into the cells so this is the assembly where gas acceleration tube it is followed by the rupture disk micro carrier this is uh, micro particle or the micro carrier which is dna coated and this is coated with gold as well as the tungsten and whole assembly is placed in a laminar flow to maintain the sterile condition the stopping screen is placed in between the micro particle as well as this target tissue so by high velocity by applying the high velocity only this micro particles are bombarded on this target tissues and the stopping screen this prevent passage of micro projectiles but allows the dna coated micro pellets to pass through this chamber and it achieves the delivery of dna into the target cell this method was proven successful for the plants which are not generated through the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer specifically rice corn wheat chickpea sorghum as well as the pigeon pea then another method is the retroviral infection 
retroviruses are the RNA viruses and they replicate via double stranded DNA intermediate. The capsid of this retroviruses contains two copies of RNA genome as well as the reverse transcriptase and integrate enzyme. So this figure you can observe this RNA genetic material it is with reverse transcriptase as well as the integrate as well as the other enzymes. So after infection the RNA genome is reverse transcribed with this reverse transcriptase enzyme and that integrate into the genome randomly. This viral DNA get integrated into the cell chromosome and they form the provirus cellular machinery that transcribes processes the RNA and undergo by viral particles uh, form viral proteins formation by translation and the new viruses are released by from the cell by budding and the last method of physical gene transfer is the sonoporation where use of ultrasound and that forms temporary permeabilization that they form the pores on the cell membrane through which the DNA is enters into the cytoplasm and finally to the nucleus. So it employs the acoustic cavitation of microbubbles for enhancing delivery of large molecules like DNA. The microbubbles, these microbubbles form complex with the DNA followed by injection and ultrasound treatment to deliver the DNA into the target cell. This figure gives you idea, this idea about sonoporation by ultrasound treatment, this microbubble which are already with DNA that is foreign DNA and it forms the pores due to the ultrasound waves. The membrane that forms the pore or that ruptures and it forms the pores so this microbubbles with dna enters into the cell cytoplasm and finally reaches to the nucleus so this is all about the methods of gene transfer where we have gone in detail about the vectorless gene transfer method these are again classified into the physical as well as the chemical method chemical method it is with polyethylene glycol or calcium phosphate or liposome mediated and physical method is by electroporation uh, sonoporation then biolistic micro injection method is there for the physical transfer of uh, gene so with this i'm going to stop here we'll meet in next lecture with agrobacterium mediated gene transfer thank you